out of St. Lucie County this morning, new at 11. A Treasure Coast family is suing a local sheriff's office in connection with the death of their loved one. Gregory Hill's family spoke at a news conference just moments ago. Hill is the man who was shot and killed by a St. Lucie County deputy in 2014. And News Channel 5's John Shaman is live in Fort Pierce where he just heard from the family. John? A word along Avenue Q in Fort Pierce, a press conference with Greg Hill's family and attorney just wrapping up. This is a picture of Mr. Hill. Two years ago, the 30-year-old was shot here in his home by a St. Lucie County Sheriff's deputy. And this week, the family has filed a wrongful death lawsuit. I want to bring in John Phillips, the family's attorney, just to say, Mr. Phillips, why the lawsuit? We want answers. You know, the family wants answers to see what happened. Mr. Hill, as you can see on the garage door behind you, was within the confines of his house with the garage door almost completely down when he was shot and killed. And there was a lot of controversy whether or not a gun was displayed, and you were just telling us that you have evidence uh, to say that no gun was displayed? The, the, the sheriff's office photos depict the gun completely in his back pocket. Um, given what our forensics said, that the shots that he took, he, he wouldn't have had the mindset after being shot through the head to put the gun away. So, so the gun appeared to be in his back pocket at all material times. And the reason why uh, sheriff's deputies were called out to this house was because of a loud music complaint. And we just heard from uh, Greg Hill's mom, uh, Viola Bryan, and I just wanted to ask her again. Ms. Bryan, you were that when people came to the house and if they had asked uh, Mr. Hill to turn down the music, he would have done so? Yes, sir. That's my belief. And for you, why did you guys get to this point? Why are you guys suing? Uh, we want justice for him, uh, you know, and for his soul and rest, you know, because I figured he was dead wrong. So we want, we want justice for Greg. If you see the signs in the yard, signs be in the yard, and the signs say justice for Greg, and that's what we want. Mr. Hill, a father of three. Right now, those children ages 11, 8, and 5. We'll have much more on the story coming up today on News Channel 5 this afternoon. We're live in Fort Pierce. John Shane, WPTV, News Channel 5. All right, John. Detectives with the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office are investigating a rather bizarre case out of unimportant.